I often think that weddings are the most amazing place. Pretty much everything external from your life gets forgotten about. All the worries that people have tend to go out the window and everyone just focuses on two people, happily in love, and we all get to share those moments together. Those moments are priceless, and we're so lucky and honoured to have each and every one of you here today and the fact you've chosen to come. So thanks, and thanks again for doing so. Dear Muzz, the day is finally upon us. We've had a while to wait. Maybe everything happens for a reason. Maybe it's your fate. Now it's our special day with all our family and friends. We've had such tough moments of late, but nothing our love can't transcend. After eight years, four booked wedding dates, one baby, and a global pandemic, Muzz, we're finally here. It's been a crazy journey, but I know it's only just beginning. I promise to love you in the good times and in the bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and respect you, these things I give to you today and all the days of our life. I promise to be there when you stumble and you make and make you smile even on the bluest of days. Oh my god, that's stunning. That's so nice. It's oh, beautiful because he must have got he matches the set. He is so naughty. I promise to be there whenever you need. I promise to support you in all that life throws at us. I vow to always make you laugh and my giddiness, my ridiculous overexcitement at the simplest of things like trees, sunsets and feeding ducks. I will be your bird lady for life. <laughs> We went to a beach holiday and we took the dog of us, threw the, threw the ball into the sea, disappeared, I shouted from a rock, it's Emma's fault. Matt didn't realise the banter we had and jumped in and stuck up for her. <laughs> and that's the day I realised Matt was the right man for him. So I'm so proud to rent my daughter out for a while <laughs> to the Mr. K. <laughs> I promise to care for you when you're sick, lonely or tired. I promise to drink Aperol Spritz with you in the summer and on the slopes. I promise to always make up stupid weird songs. I promise to be your breakfast chef. I promise to be your tasty tan man. I promise to give everything to provide for our family. But most of all, I vow to care for you and our families and know that Matthew, you are my world. I promise to help Dawson grow up to be the best man he can be. I promise to tell you how beautiful you are. I promise to tell you that I don't say that enough. I promise to hold your hand in the good times and the bad. But most of all, I promise to love you, hold you and care for you until my final breath. During lockdown, you asked me why I wanted to get married. To me, the answer is simple. To show commitment to another human being in a way that you couldn't ever do in any other format. Because, because to me, I do doesn't mean I do. It means until eternity. And that's what I promise to you. Mars is an incredible human. She's so happy, smiley, caring and warm. These are traits she undoubtedly gets from her parents. They have raised three incredible children and they deserve so much respect and thanks for how humble, kind and caring all three of them are. 
To my dad, I probably owe one of the biggest thanks um, of the day to my dad. Things haven't always been easy and plain sailing for you, but the sacrifices you made for us children gave me the start I have in life. I wouldn't be doing the job I am now, living in the house that I live in, or being able to do the things that I do without you. Um. I've always been a big fan of you ever since I met you and you came into Matthew's life. Having spent a lot of time with that man, how much of a special person you have to be to put up with him. Joe is honestly one of the most incredible humans I've ever met. You and Muzz, or Emily to you, have a special bond that is second to none. And if I become half the man you are, I'll know I'll have done a good job for your daughter. Hey, Judy, Judy, you're an amazing nanny to Isla and Dawson, and a brilliant mother to incredible kids. Mum, Mars often tells me how you are just such a nice person, and that's honestly the biggest compliment I can give you. There is not a bad bone in your body. But what I would say is I am proud to be your friend, I've thoroughly enjoyed um, being a best man at this wedding and being involved in it and, and everything that comes with it. Um, I think you are the perfect person to take him off my responsibilities um, and look after him and I couldn't ask for a better person to be with my pal. So yeah, I really, really appreciate you. I know that we'll be able to conquer anything as a two. I know that we'll be the best friends to Dawson, and like I said in my battles, I promise to love you and care for you until my final breath. The days are long, but the years are short. Well, Muzz, I can't wait to spend the rest of my long days and short years with you by my side.